so let us see how we can use uh, structures to uh, make our programming easier sometimes uh, say for example there are two distances uh, distances means what distances you can think of it as a floating point number or else you can think of it say one distance is 3 kilometer 700 meter and another distance is 5 kilometer 800 meter now somebody tells that okay 3 kilometer 700 meter is one distance a person will have to run this distance and also after that we'll have to run this distance so in total how much distance the person will have to run so to add these two distances you will say that 3 kilometer plus 5 kilometer makes it 8 kilometer and 700 meter plus 800 meter makes it 1500 meters <coughs> but 1500 meters again me me means 500 meter and 1 kilometer sorry 1 kilometer 500 meter is not so so 8 kilometer 1 kilometer 500 meter totally will mean 8 kilometer plus 1 kilometer 9 kilometer so this is how we actually find or add distances if we express it in terms of kilometer and meter now to add two distances it is it will look good if i describe or if i think of distance as a structure say struct distance and in this distance structure i will have an integer kilometer and i will have an integer meter i think you get it kilometer and meter are two integers needed within this so distance is described like this now if i have to declare two distances and add them we can declare two distances struct distance d1 please understand what i am doing i have taken a structure distance and a structure distance means two things kilometer and meter now this kilometer meter of two distances will be added so i will need two distance variables struct, struct distance d1 and d2 now these two variables will contain the kilometer and the meter i think you get it so now i will tell the user printf enter the first distance i tell the user to enter the first distance so colon slash n is important i go to the next line and in this next line i firstly write you enter the kilometer so i ask for the kilometer from the user how many kilometer and that i will have to scan f from the user scan f percent d ampersand kilometer where is this kilometer in d1 dot km because i am now scanning the first distance and the first distance contains your is there in d1 and d1 contains both kilometer and meter so i will also ask for the second uh, of the meter also so printf meter how many meter kilometer i have asked for now i am asking for the meter from the person from the user and here i also scan f scan f what scan f person d ampersand d2 dot kilometer i think understand uh, sorry not d d1 sorry very sorry it's not d2 it, i'm scanning the first distance so it's d1 dot meter is not so so i have scanned d1 dot kilometer and as can d1 dot meter i have taken this too now uh, to be noted that once i have scanned this d1 kilometer d1 t2 kilometer i have used scan f so it is good if you use f flush though you may say it is not needed over here you may note note that f flush is not needed over here because this is scanning of an integer this is also scanning of an integer so the extra enter will never be scanned when i scan an integer it is needed in case of string anyway but it is a good habit to always flush the buffer if you use a uh, scanf so this is done for the first distance so definitely the second distance in the same way needs to be scanned also so i can again do the same thing of copying this code and pasting this code and then change these things to d2 kilometer that is this is the second distance i am asking for enter the second distance 
so here i will scan in d2 dot kilometer and then the meter i will scan in d2 dot meter and then i flush the buffer so these things i have scanned now the third distance that is the sum of this three so i need a d3 is not it? so i need a d3 so what to do very simple i will firstly take d3 dot kilometer how do you go for d3 dot kilometer very simple it is d1 dot kilometer plus d2 dot kilometer is not it so i have just added d1 dot kilometer and d2 dot kilometer and then what i can do is d3 dot meter that i can take in d1 sorry it is meter however declared it meter na no? m e t e r t r e okay fine so d3 dot meter is equal to d1 dot meter plus d2 dot meter now once this is done now you know that this meter may exceed 1000 so what to do if d3 dot meter is greater than equal to 1000 then what then your d3 dot meter should not be say 1500 it should be 500 so d3 dot meter must be less by 1000 minus equal to 1000 see if d3 dot meter in this example you find out 800 plus 700 will make it 1500 so 1500 you want to change it to 500 so you need to subtract 1000 from it so d3 dot meter minus equal to 1000 and d3 dot kilometer will have to be incremented whatever it is in exchange of this 1000 meter kilometer increases by 1 so i think you get it so now d3 kilometer d3 meters are ready so i can now say print f the sum of the two distances are the sum of the two distances are colon slash what are they you need a uh, maybe slash n is needed you may avoid it also uh, you may write in the same line print f see how i write it here you need to give maybe one space now person d kilometer is not it so person d is the kilometer person d d3 dot kilometer no sorry person d3 dot kilometer will be replacing by this so person d kilometer followed by how many meters person d meters this many kilometers and this many meters is the sum and here it is replaced by person d replaced by d3 dot kilometer and the second person d replaced by d3 dot meter job done you can say now you are ready with this thing your entire program is ready i can save it and try to run it maybe kilometer enter the first distance kilometer so say 8 kilometer meter say 900 meter next second distance uh, 16 kilometer so say 700 meters so see it will be 8 plus 16 24 24, 24 kilometers 1600 meters so change to 25 kilometer 600 meters the sum of the distances are 25 kilometers 600 meters i think you understand this this program looks absolutely fine even if you run it with maybe uh with a distance which is not more than maybe meters does not exceed 1000 say 7 kilometers 300 meters and 4 kilometers uh 200 meters then this will be as simple as 11 kilometer 500 meters so see this is also working fine so you understand that structures can be used like this to make your life easy the distance as a whole forms one unit you may say i could have done it without structure also i could have declared uh, kilometer 1 kilometer 2 i could have declared meter 1 meter 2 and then meter kilometer 3 meter 3 and then added those three yes it could have done but in bigger programs it helps you in treating distance as one unit 
that is how it helps you out so similarly like distance let i get rid of this program now or say let it be there say suppose instead of distance now i pick up area 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 means what so area will mean length and breadth please understand it should be length and it should be breadth and area so in this way if you have the length and breadth you can calculate the area also very simple so say for example if there is an object whose area say struct area i declare say i get rid of all this thing let it uh, let, let let us not use this and get confused i just delete this whole thing and say i pick up one area say struct area say a now i can tell the user print f enter the length and breadth is not so i can tell the user enter the length and breadth and after that i mean i i will need to scan the length and breadth somehow so maybe scan f person d ampersand what a dot length we have length and breadth is not it so so a dot length and then what you do is you also scan the a dot breadth person sorry person d ampersand capital a dot breadth once these two are scanned then what to do you can now calculate the total area and print so print f the area is person d and what is that person d i think you get it very easily that this person d is a dot length into multiplied by a dot breadth you can so easily print it and this program will run fine and there is nothing in this program i have done this program to expand this program further and you will find it very soon let me save it and try to run it so enter the length and breadth may be 54 and 23 so the area is 1 to 42 i think you understand the area is i have just multiplied now i am now want to tell you say i have got an area but now suppose i need to declare a volume a structure volume now what is volume then volume consists of length breadth and height so can i say volume contains area and height so can i do something like this that i declare struct area variable within this only and instead of a i name it area please understand instead of a i just name it area capital area i cannot name it small area because then there will be a collision you have already called it struct area you cannot use the same variable name so area is the same is another variable name i have used is in caps and this because this is case sensitive you can have area uh, uh, named like this capital instead of capital a i am taking capital area so what i have done i have declared struct area variable within volume so automatically i can understand this area in turn will have its length and breadth what do you understand nested structures like we can have nested for loops or nested while loops like that we can have nested structures also within one structure another structure has been used because this area should contain area dot length and area dot breadth i think you understand and another thing this will need sorry another thing this will need is height once it has got the area that means it has got the length and breadth and then it needs an height so volume is declared very easily so now if i have to ask for a volume again let me get rid of this whole thing or let it be there let it be there because this will make a lesser writing i can have now a volume variable v present with me and then what i tell is enter the length breadth and height 
see this length breadth and height i want three things from the user and the first length i scan how do i scan it see volume is v within volume v you can have area please see this v is the variable variable type is struct volume type so if it is struct volume type you can have v dot area and if you have v dot area within area you have length so area dot length is possible you see this area is a structure variable you think up, suppose this struct area was declared within main you could have so easily used area dot length so similarly i have done v dot area because v contains area v dot area followed by length similarly if you have to scan the breadth also you can say v dot area dot breadth and finally the height how do you scan it scan f person d m person sorry this is v not a sorry v dot area dot bread now what is this height height is not v dot area dot height v height is v dot height because you check out how because within this v is struct volume type so if v is struct volume type within this struct volume height is automatically present so it is v dot height that you height that you scan now you can print the volume is person d the volume is person d that is how do you write it v dot area dot length into v dot area dot breadth and finally into v dot height you get the total area is not it so of the entire object now if you run this program this should run fine uh, let me save it and then run it so one error what error to me oh yeah see this is something i should have told you before i run this program see when you are declaring two structures it is very important that between the two structures you put end this with a semicolon the first structure before you call the second use the second structure the first structure will have to be ended with a semicolon this is a rule of c an important thing is here you could have declared say a variable called a it means struct area a is declared over here and this variable a is a global variable means it can be accessed from any function main or any other function in the program because you have declared it outside of main you could have declared anyway i have not done that but between the two structure you must put a semicolon it is very important now let me run it so enter the length breadth and height say 23 20 20 and 12 so the volume is 5520 so do you understand this i have i have just calculated 23 into 24 60 460 12 is 5520 so it has done exactly that it has printed the volume the job is done one thing i did not do is after this semicolon i did not save it so after running it went away anyway so this is now working absolutely fine and you can say your program is for this area is ready you could have had two areas and printed it you could have a volumes and printed the variables and all these were possible like what i am mean to say is you could have had two volumes v1 and v2 as if two objects you could have scanned the two objects similarly one object you have already scanned and another object you can also scan and then you can add these those three so you can have three volumes maybe v1 v2 v3 so you scan the enter the length breadth and height of first object you could have told that that i am scanning now the length breadth and height of first object similarly you could have scanned the length breadth height of the second object so let me just copy this and paste for scanning the length breadth and height of the second object so enter the length breadth and height of second object it's not so 
so again ampersand v this is v this is v1 v2 v3 so when you are scanning the first object it should be v1 dot area v1 dot area dot length v1 dot area dot breadth and v1 dot height similarly this should be v2 dot area dot length v2 dot area dot breadth and v2 dot height you are scanning the second object now you have scanned the length breadth and height of the second object and then you can just add those two and print the uh, area length breadth and height of the third object you could have done that very easily or you could have computed the volume of a, of a third object which is the sum total of the maybe the length breadth of the volume of the third object it is possible so maybe you can calculate like this length is length plus length breadth this breadth plus breadth height is maybe height plus height whatever is, you can do it say you can say like this v3 sorry v3 dot length is equal to v1 it v3 dot length is not possible is not it so v3 dot area dot length is equal to v1 dot area dot length possible is not it so sorry very sorry length and then v3 dot area dot height v3 dot area dot breadth rather breadth is equal to v3 dot this is v1 plus v2 na length is length plus length you can do v2 dot area dot length v1 dot area dot length and v2 dot area dot length added together similarly v3 dot area dot breadth can be v1 dot area dot breadth plus v2 dot area dot breadth possible na as if the three volume to two volumes being added together individually area length and breadth and similarly you can do height for height also but in height you remember it is v3 dot height directly v3 dot height is equal to v1 dot height plus v2 dot height it is possible i have just added the length breadth and height of the first two object to get the third object and maybe i can print the volume of the third object is the volume of the third object is what is it v3 dot area dot length into v3 dot area dot breadth plus v3 dot height you could have easily done that you can save this and then run this program enter the length breadth height of first object maybe 5 3 2 keep it smaller because i have done with integer i have not done it wrong integer so i am keeping it smaller so it does not exceed the size 4 6 uh maybe 3 so now if you add the volume of the third object is 4 or 5 why 5 plus 4 9 3 plus 6 is 18 and 2 into 3 is 6 So nine into six fifty four fifty four into eighteen. So uh, what is it? Five into five plus four nine. Three plus six is nine again. And two and three is six. So nine into nine into six is eighty one into uh, five. Sorry, four or five. Yeah, it is absolutely correct. Is not it so? So uh, it is the volume of the third object. How you have calculated it? This can be done so easily, so uh, beautifully. now one thing i will tell you suppose these volumes are volumes of some houses is it possible that is i have a struct house then house definitely will have a volume it should have a struct volume is not it so and then within it i declare a variable volume so any house must have a total volume but another thing you must important you must understand is very important that more important than volume this house should have an address now address should have its house number street locality city west bengal so i city uh, then say uh, state then maybe anything it can have pin code it can have post office police station everything possible 
So this tract volume here you should put a semicolon. But apart from that, why not we have another structure, say address? I'm trying to show you many structures nested. And within this address, must firstly, it should have a house number array. Not more than 5 is needed because generally house number are 13B, 26C, something like that, maximum. So character house number 5, possible, followed by after house number what is there generally, maybe the locality, maybe the street, something like that is needed. So character, locality, the locality can be as big as 20 maybe, then maybe character, street or maybe locality can be as big as 30 also. The street can also be as big as 30 maybe. Is not so. And after that, what else? You can have the post office, pin code, etc. A post office, post police station, pin code, city, uh, state, all this. So maybe after this street, I can have character post office. Post office can also be as big as 20 maximum. Then it can have a character array of police station, which can also be as big as maximum maybe 20. Don't forget the semicolon. Anyway, so after this, you need the city, character, city, and city can also be maybe as big as 20. After that, you need the state, which can also be as big as 20. And after that, you need the pin code. Pin code, can it be an integer? It should be a long int. A long int pin code, because you remember a pin code, maybe 302023, something like that. So it's a long int, because an integer can have maximum, how much? 32767. So a long int pin code. So these things I have already put in address. So if I have it, now I can declare a struct house and within this struct house, there should be a struct address. House should have an address and I deliberately name the variable address also. Please understand this. I have an address, the house can have an address, it can have a volume and maybe it can have a color. It is where is the house located? What is the size of the house? And maybe uh, what is its color? Another thing that is very important in the address I forgot is a landmark. Is not it so? A nearest landmark is often needed. So character landmark, it can also be as big as 20 or maybe 30. Not more than that. So uh, within house, I can have a color of the house. Where is it located? The address. I need the volume and uh, the size of the house. That is the volume. And maybe the color. Color can be as big as 10. Not more than that. Okay. So this is the property. These are the properties of house. See, of between two structures, there should be semicolon. The last one before main, here it is not needed. You may put it, may, it is not needed. So you think you understand this? So once this is done, now I can ask for, I'll get rid of all this. I have say a house, total house being scanned and I will just output the details of the house. It is as good as printf and scanf. I will just scan all the properties of this house and then I will simply print that out. Nothing more than that I will be doing. So this is the structure house. I can have many houses for that different variables will be needed. Here I declare only one variable struct house and I call it h. The house called h. Now within this house h, what do I need? What do I need? I maybe I will tell the user to print the entire address of the house printf enter the address i will tell the user to enter the address so if i tell the user to enter the address what i want in the address has to be very clearly specified 
like house number, locality, street, all these needs to be done. So should I do printf and then say house number? I ask from the user one by one, enter the house number. See this, what I am doing. House number, here I expect the user to enter. So I should get the house number. It is a string, I can have get s. Is not it so? Get s h dot what? House number comes, how is how does it come? H is this, remember, H is struct house type. So within struct house, how do you get to address? Through H dot address. And within H dot address, then you get hold of house number. Is not it so? So H dot address dot house number. Check this, H dot address dot house number. This is how you get hold of the house number. Then you tell the user to enter. Once you have got the house number, what else do you want now? After house number, locality, street and so on. So in the same way, I should scan this whole thing and print. Maybe I just copy this. Copying and printing will make the things a little easy maybe. I just copy this and paste this. So now house number done. Now what? The locality and street. So firstly, locality I ask from the user. And how do I get it? In, not in house number, but in locality. Once I get this, next what? Let me copy this whole thing. It makes the life easy. So I just copy this and I again paste this. See this. I have got the house number, locality. Now what? Now maybe street. I ask from the user for the street. And also I scan it in the variable age.address.street. After that what? After that street done. House number done, locality done, street done. After that what? After that is your post office, police station and landmark. Post office, police station, landmark. So ask for the post office. Tell the user to enter the post office so you get it within post office and then you paste this maybe police station sorry police station so I get this within h dot address dot ps police station done next what landmark so once again I paste this so that I can make it easy. Maybe I ask for the nearest landmark. I'm showing you all this to show that how the whole thing with multiple structures can be easily done. Nearest landmark. So you get as h dot address dot landmark. What is left out? Your city and state. So next is city. City, state and PIN code remaining. City, sorry, city, you scan it in the variable h.address.city. I think you are understanding this. Within h.address, city is there. See, h is your struct house. h is your struct house. So h is this, this type. Within this is h.address and within h.address is your city, state and everything. Is not it so? So city, then state. Next is after this, you again take this not city love not locality but state now so h dot address dot state and what are you left with you are only left with within the address part you are only left with the pin code so printf pin code and remember pin code is an integer or a long integer so here get s will not help what do you need scan f and scan a, what are you scanning? A long integer, percent LD. Is not so? Ampersand, age dot address dot pin code. And if you are scanning, scan f is being used. So it is always good to have the f flash std in. Because the next thing can be a string and the enter will be there in the buffer. Is not so? So the pin code has to be scanned as an integer. That was the only integer in your this address. It's not so. So this is done. 
now what you need the volume that is the length breadth height and the color so how do you get it you again tell say uh, printf this thing has to be copied again so uh, yeah this thing i copy and i paste now here i need the length so uh, because i will take apart from the address I, i will take everything so i should not say enter the address i should enter the details of the house i should write something like that at the beginning is not so anyway so now i am needing the length so here ampersand i should scan now i should i how should i scan i should scan as person d because after all length where is it present length is present within area area is present within volume and within volume is present within this house so it is age dot volume which will get rid of which will get hold of this so age dot volume dot area will get hold of this and age dot volume dot area dot length will get hold of this which is an integer so check out what here i need ampersand age dot volume dot area and then i get the length see how i got hold of it h is your struct house within struct house is volume struct volume within struct volume is struct area area and then struct length uh, uh, then int length is not so so h dot volume dot area dot length this is how you get hold of the length and finally you need to get hold of the breadth no not finally after that height is also needed after that your uh, color is also needed anyway i just copy this once more and then i paste it once more so uh, now not length has been done so bread so age dot volume dot area dot bread has to be scanned now so it is also done finally what are you left with you are left with height so height but remember height is somewhere else height is within the volume itself not in the area so see age dot volume h is your struct house h is this this one age dot volume is this one within that is how height so age dot volume dot height is enough you don't need to get in, get inside area so age dot volume dot height is not so i scan it and also a flush why because it is a scanf so scanf person d ampersand age dot volume dot height so you have scanned the length you have scanned the breadth you have scanned the height what else is left finally you are left with you have got the address you have got the volume and finally you are left with the color so what should you do you should say printf color the color of the house and that also you should scan where should you scan you can get as this because it is after all a string so h dot color is enough because h is your struct house remember h is your struct house this one is h struct house so you are here you can just get hold of the color so h dot color h dot color is enough so h dot color you get as this whole thing has been done next what you will print the entire thing that has that you have scanned print f or you can write put s because you want a slash and automatically put s the details of the house the details of the house entered what is the details of the house entered see what firstly you need the address so print f what should you write address you should print the whole thing togetherly you should not print it as maybe house number then locality street you should not print like that how should you print you should firstly print the address percent s what is that that is your house number percent s so remember if you close this the first percent s should be your house number is not it so and house number contains gap but printf percentage print still you get the uh, zero null character na 
so this will work fine percent s firstly house number followed by a comma you print after the house number what will you print a space followed by the locality locality is percent s so this should be replaced by the locality where this house is so a comma after that then you print the street this is also percent s sorry percent s what do you print over here street but remember all these are within age dot something i am just now typing to make the make the things easy i will put it later this should be age dot address dot house number is not so similarly this should be age dot address dot locality this should be age dot address dot street which i will put print later but street is done next what should you print post office post and uh, police station so percent s followed by post office next you should print police station so here another percent s after this another percent s is needed to print the police station and here you should clarify also that this is your post office is not so you should clarify that this is your police station okay followed by landmark landmark what should you write you should write near something near that landmark near percent s and that percent s should be your landmark see how i'm printing the whole address thing the landmark is printed then what do you print you print your city is not so so here you print the percent s which should be your city and then after city what do you print you print the pin code and finally the state remember city after city you print the pin code is not so say jaipur 302023 something like this so jaipur after that you put a dash followed by the pin code you print so jaipur dash pin code 302023 maybe followed by the state finally rajasthan so here you then print the state so i think i could clarify what i am trying to do i have printed the entire address in this format how many things are printed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 this nine things together lie as comprised of your have comprised of your address so see nine things whether i have printed check this out see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 10 so this job is done here i now need to put all this age dot address dot something is not so the locality is not locality it is age dot address sorry address spelling mistake address dot locality then it is not street it is age dot address dot street it is not post office it is age dot address dot post office it is age dot address dot police station landmark landmark is age dot address dot landmark and finally your city city is age dot address dot city finally it is pin code age dot address dot pin code and lastly it is the state it is age dot address dot state then what should you print you should print the area of the house you have print the address printed the address you should print the area of the house what is the area of the house area is percent d maybe your length and breadth but one thing you to you need to remember i forgot this pin code is not percent d see this last thing city after that city this pin code pin code is not percent d it is long long int na so this is not percent d this is percent ld okay long int it is a long int anyway 
so uh, this is done like when you have scanned it you have scanned it as ld is not it so it's a long end so here printf area area is person d what is that length into breadth how do you get hold of it h dot volume dot area dot length into h dot volume dot area dot breadth is not it so so check this out how do you get it h dot volume dot area dot length h dot volume dot area dot breadth is not it so so h dot volume dot area dot length into h dot volume dot area dot breadth this to multiplied you get the area and finally the height and the color printf height you don't need the length and breadth separately you need the area the house description is given by the area is not it so person d how do you get it see length was h dot volume this is h h is struct struct house h so h dot volume here followed by within volume your area within area was your length and breadth but height is within volume itself so i can get h dot volume dot height is not it so so height is this person d is h dot volume dot height job done and finally the color printf color color is within struct house only the color is there your color is within struct house only so you print the color so you printf color color is what color is h dot color job done so this is h dot color but color has to be printed by percentage comma okay so you print the color finally so this whole thing is now print is now done i can now save this and try to run this lot of things there might be error no no errors at all enter the details of the house house number maybe 26b okay locality locality uh, say 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 uh, metal colony a place where i live metal colony locality your street a uh, street uh, what street is this one where where i stay i put that street only street is sicker road uh, then post office post office maybe 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 uh, i put some post office say vidyadhar nagar a place where i live then say police station police station i also put vidyadhar nagar with sorry vidyadhar nagar dhar nagar i do this finally nearest landmark nearest landmark uh, say 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 uh, i uh, say this i have a, a temple nearby dher ke balaji i'm just putting in my address sorry okay and uh, then city where is my city my city is jaipur i forgot to put the colon after city i should have done that anyway uh, state is definitely rajasthan the city is jaipur pin code my pin code is 302023 maybe so the length 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 of my house maybe 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 uh, uh, say what should i put say 60 then say breadth breadth this say say 30 i'm just just uh, some random figure height is say 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 40 color color is say green job done the details of the house entered see address 26b metal colony sikar road post office vidyadhar nagar police station vidyadhar nagar near dher ke balaji jaipur 302023 rajasthan area 1800 height 40 color green but no enters in between so what you should do to complete this whole thing firstly remember when i was getting the color or something city yeah when i was getting the city there was no colon so put this colon and finally this thing needs to be done like when you are printing this area address after this address here should have been a slash n 
so that things look good after the area there should have been a slash n after the height a slash n and after the color a slash n also so this whole thing done now one thing i will tell you one thing that can be done is see you can do one interesting thing that is type def what is type def type def is you say i define say something like this i will explain type def int i what it means is you have renamed as if int as i so if somebody writes int a after you type def it will be as good as writing i a see int has been replaced by i the definition the type int has now been defined as the type i so instead of now also you can write int a but instead of int a you can also write i a the type int has been defined as the type i so instead of writing int a i can write i a but why should i do that it's not needed but this thing makes interesting you can say type def struct house and you say it is house what happens you have defined the type this is type see this type the type which type struct house has been defined as the type house so from now onwards instead of writing struct house i can write it as house any type that instead of house you could have written something else say house 2 would have done but you have type def as house so instead of writing struct house you can write house h and still this will work i think you get it i save it once more and try to run it there is one error oh okay 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 see this same thing this struct if you end it over there and begin the main no problem if you write something else after that the semicolon should be there okay so remember that we should not forget i forgot it now once more house number say uh, 26b followed by locality locality my locality is uh, say 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 vidyadhar nagar my locality is vidyadhar nagar uh then say street my street is sikar road or say my locality was metal colony rather i have written vidyadhar okay anyway my post office is vidyadhar nagar my locality would have been metal colony but it will not uh, disturb at all police station let it be vidyadhar nagar and then say nearest landmark nearest landmark is dher ke balaji dher ke balaji it's a place uh, in jaipur city city is jaipur no doubt my state is rajasthan my pin code is 302023 so finally the length length may be 60 breadth is 30 height is 40 color is green this is the details i had printed last time so details of the house entered see address 26b vidyadhar nagar sikar road post office vidyadhar nagar police station vidyadhar nagar near dher ke balaji jaipur 302023 rajasthan area 18006 to 30 height is 40 color is green so this whole thing has been done you understand how structures are written and also you have understood or learned a new thing that is type def i can do type def so uh, many a things you have learned we can take a bit of break over here and we can come back after a while thank you so much